this week on A Beautiful Life. Hi, my lovies. We are at Metro Fresh. Oh. Hello, my lovies. Dave's eating lentil soup. Crazy and I've lentil. got some uh, turkey, turkey chili. chili. Goodness. No, I've been contemplating doing like an extreme juicing fast. It's not working out, so I just need to eat healthier. <laughs> so, That's right. I just gotta keep it real with myself. I just said a prayer, ask God for the strength just to be consistent in healthy eating. And you I kind of got off. This salad. What is this? I, I juiced for the last 24 hours. So, we had kind of a juice for breakfast, and it and was dinner. really good. It oh, had yeah. like carrots and kale and. What else? Uh, ginger and spinach. spinach. And apples. And apples. Yeah. It was so, really good and very smooth. Babe, I like that. Babe's gonna help me stay on track. And what she can do is use that slow cooker we got. So all any of the levies out there with good slow cooker, crock pot meals, can you please send over the recipes? Thank you. Yeah, what he said. So we are at housewarming for one of our good friends, Dylan. I know you guys, if you've been following us for a while, remember Dylan and we haven't hung out with him forever because he got married. So we are at his housewarming and it's an absolutely beautiful house with a woman's touch. Oh yeah. That looks so sweet. I need to oh my get that printed. Those are pictures that I uh, These are pictures from his engagement from that Trey shot. It was a surprise engagement. A, a surprise proposal, actually, at Octane, one of their favorite coffee places. So the food was delicious. It's almost all gone. Oh, yeah. Oh, we vlogged. People, it was so good. So, uh, this is Dylan's dad. He's up to something. Dylan's dad, he brings up to something. Yes, I am. Surprise. 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 He's, got some gifts for, he's got some gifts for Lindsay. And <laughs> she looks a little nervous. A hundred thousand baby names. By the way, we we called y'all here for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> we are expecting. <laughs> Hello, my lovies. Miller Light. Uh, Old school refrigerator. Lighter. Little uh, Dominican rum ain't nobody on, ain't nobody on that. Oh, look, check out the outside of it. Boom. Nice patina on there. And it actually works. What year? Uh, 1954. 1954. Yeah. Oh, we got the gun safe over here for all you uh, hardcore Republicans. <laughs> this right here is magical. Uh, I wish we could do this at our place. We can do that. I can make a fire. Yeah, we get fine out the wuya. This is awesome. Time for some s'mores. I can't wait for you some more. Oh, you want some more? How can you have s'mores if you haven't had some more? Some more? What? What movie is that? How can you have s'more or something that you never had? I don't know what movie is it. Come on. Love Sam, you. Huh? What? No, no, Sandlot. Yeah. Sandlot. You got it right. Ah, oh, you put me in an hour. I love it. That's an hour. Mm-hmm. Right there. I'm going to let me go to the light. Y'all see this goodness right here? Yeah. It's worth the wait. Good morning, my lovies. <laughs> Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, my lovies. Dude just got a haircut. Go model. Go model. Show him your stuff. Show him your, your new cut. Oh, there you go. Come back. Come over here. Dude, over here. Show him another. Oh, no, you didn't. Get down. Down. You said come here. <laughs> I said come here. No. I didn't say up. Okay. I said up. I did not say come here. He did that on his own. I was trying to get him to show his haircut. <laughs> you in trouble now, boy. <laughs> he out of order. Um, Babe is in there. He's thinking up the bathroom. 
<laughs> I'm just playing. My nail. You didn't say good morning. You said your nail. Good morning, ladies. Mm hmm. Let me try to. Mm hmm. But uh, we just finished watching a documentary, <clears throat> and it was about the uh, Brooklyn Nets arena over in Brooklyn. And it was the behind the scenes of what it took to take neighborhoods out of, or displace neighborhoods, and the big corporate billionaire structure that came and took over uh, access to local shops and bars and residents who were there and uh, basically forced them out of their homes. So it was interesting to understand, you know, like things like eminent domain, which is where like the government or state basically finds a piece of property as trash, basically, for lack of a better term. And they basically force you out of it. And you have no choice, even if it's privately owned. Did I say that right, babe? I have to check in with my lawyer. I said that pretty good? See? Pretty good. Pretty good. But it was an interesting doc. I know when they introduced like Jay-Z and Beyonce being involved with the project and everything that was all the hoopla behind it, you didn't really understand the true story. So all the Brooklyn loveys out there. Um, do you remember the name of the documentary? Um, she's still be on TV. Um, Battle for Brooklyn. And it was a very interesting backstory in the backdrop to what went into taking over that land. So educate yourself and uh, you can also, it also helps develop your opinion of gentrification and all the other things that happen when communities want to develop and um, the government isn't necessarily working hand in hand. So I feel like I'm more knowledgeable about the topic now. So when I see development in my neighborhood, I can make the choice as to whether or not I'm involved, which I should be involved but also understand the consequences and what it does to certain families and those type of things. So I'm off my soapbox for right now. I'm not going to hit y'all with a Spike Lee speech. <laughs> Spike Lee crazy, right? But that's my boy. Get her, dude. Get her, dude. Get her, dude. Get her. Get her, dude. There you go. There you go. Get her, dude. Get her. Get her, dude. Y'all can see dude's haircut better this way. Get her, dude. Not me. <laughs> Not me. He likes start charging at me. You saving mommy? No. <laughs> so. Um, as I told y'all before, I'm trying to do a little bit better with what I'm eating. We haven't been getting a lot of our vegetable intake <laughs> because of both of us. It's not just Tia that's not cooking. I mean, I haven't been cooking either. But you know, Tia usually do a lot of the cooking. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to stay out of trouble. Babe's over here uh, putting together the guest list. Tell them a little bit, babe. Hmm? We are going to be having an event on November 8th in honor of baby's birthday and- Three? Oh! Yep. <laughs> you and know? And art show and the launch Photo of a new- Photo exhibit? Yeah. And the launch of a new um, nonprofit organization that he's starting. It's very exciting, November 8th, 7 o'clock at the Sound Table in Atlanta. If you all live here, I'm putting the guest list together. <laughs> all our lovies are invited, of course. Um, so we're going to be sending out some more information and we'll show you guys a flyer that we put together, but this is just all the beginning phases. So Yeah, we'll show you more. But what I'm doing over here is I've decided I was going to try and do like the extra thing of just like trying to be extreme tray and juice until like November. But then I got really stressed out about it and I I don't like being stressed about eating stuff. So I've decided to only juice one meal a day. And Tia's been with me since yesterday. And this is what I have. We got some spinach, we got some kale, some apples, some carrots, some celery, 
and some ginger. This is ginger right here. Um, so I'm gonna put a, put together a nice concoction. Oh, and then I try and put a little uh, orange juice too. Just some organic orange juice, Uncle Matt's. It's pretty good. So I'm gonna make a juice for today. Y'all can join me one juice a day. Leave a comment if you're gonna join me one juice a day. Make sure we get all our uh, healthy ingredients and what do we say? Minerals and vitamins and all those things. So you can join me because I'm getting fat. If you feel like you're getting fat, you can join me if you don't want to be fat no more because I don't want to be fat no more neither. Deal? Deal. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah. Little orange juice. Uh oh. This thing is a mess. Look at this. Spraying stuff over. You gotta make sure y'all get a good one. This is what came out of it. This one here and this one here, and then I'm gonna cut it with some uh, orange juice. And then um, I think we'll be good to go. Make enough for both of us. Cutting it with orange juice just allows you to kind of like increase the amount that you have and kind of stretch those things. Cause this stuff is so highly concentrated that, I mean, you're basically swallowing whole vegetables as you take a sip, you know, it's crazy. So I took this over by the light so you guys can see it a little better. But this is uh, basically everything that I got. And I added a little orange juice into it to kind of extend it. But just so you're clear, this isn't so you can store it in the refrigerator like this. Generally, if you're trying to store it, uh, a friend of mine who juices all the time, she said you can store it. Melina said that you can store it up to three days, but you want to make sure that there's very little oxygen. So if you're going to do it, maybe store it in one of these glasses and fill it all the way to the top and make sure you cap it with, uh, so it's well sealed. Uh, so, cause once it gets oxygen in it, I think it oxidizes. You can correct me if I'm wrong with the scientific terms and stuff, but this is our juice for today, at least for breakfast. And babe should be excited about it. Now to the part that sucks, that keeps everybody from juicing, is cleaning up this mess, right? This is why I stopped juicing in the first place, or never started, because I hate cleaning up stuff after I'm finished. Look at all this crap. But I did it yesterday and it wasn't that bad. There's a lot worse things to do. So I just got back from a baby shower and I had to do one very important thing that's usually done on Sundays. Bam! For those of you all who've been watching our channel for a while, you all know Trader Joe's is my grocery style of choice. But um, we absolutely had nothing in here to eat other than like vegetables to juice. So um, yeah, but uh, let me show you what I won at the baby shower. So you know we played this little game while she was opening gifts. And it was a game of, it had like a, um, a safety theme. So during the time that she was opening gifts, Another girl was calling out questions, like safety questions, and then you had to um, give your answer. Some of them were like multiple choice and some were like open-ended questions. But I got seven out of 12 right. And so I got this little candle here. I think it came from Target, but it smells really good. Mm, I think I'm gonna put it in the bathroom because our guest bathroom is like right when you come in, right here. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna, oh, I already have a candle in here. Well, I'll just change out this candle. So this is the candle that I have in here right now, but it's a little ugly. So I'll just replace it with this one. Oh man, this bathroom is so dull. I've gotta like add some stuff in here. You guys, I know you all are like, what the heck, Tia? Like, when are you going to do a house tour? When are you gonna do a house tour already? It's coming. I just, <sighs> for someone to film both of us and for us to be here at the same time, because I want Trey and I in it, in the video, it's really hard. Our schedules have been crazy busy this last couple of weekends, so it will be in the fall, but I wanna like add a few more things to the house. <laughs> I'm obsessed, I can't help it. But it's coming, hopefully before 2015, a house tour video will be up. 
Cross your fingers. Oh, I forgot to show y'all this. This right here will not be a part of the house tour. Mm-hmm. You see that? I go away for like two or three hours and I come home to that. Like, I have a child. I have a child who's in here somewhere who doesn't know how to pick up after himself. <sighs> One of the joys of being married. <laughs> for those single ladies who are like, I want to be married. Get ready for that, okay? Get ready to be a maid on some days. All right? Yeah. It ain't cute. Hello, my lovies. We are headed over to uh, the location that I'll be holding this uh, event at um, gallery photo exhibit. And Babe's doing all of the uh, helping me plan the event and doing all the administrative stuff. So, this is the spot right here. Sound table. You can kind of see what's in the inside. Inside, this is where it'll be at. So, it's going to be a pretty dope spot. Y'all look out for it. I'll show you how to fly and stuff when we finish up. This is the original restaurant, which is Sound Table. Dave's on. This is the uh, restaurant space, Sound Table. But the show will be in Sound Table 2, which I'll show you in a second. And this is how the restaurant kind of looks. That's for the DJ booth. Kind of some seating back here. It's a pretty dope spot. I can't wait. And y'all are invited. All right, y'all. So this is this is the space. I put a little more extra light on my face, but this is the space um, that the show will be held at. And uh, I'm super excited. Every time we come back, it gets doper and doper. And um, I got big plans for it. I'm like getting super excited. Can you hear it in my voice? Yeah. Ow! But I'll show you out from the front. So uh, of course you get a little foot traffic. They have an A3C hip hop uh, fest. So this is where the show would be, and uh, we'll have the projector screen. I'll show like my documentary, if y'all remember when my mom cried on that one. A little short doc. I'll show that up on the screen. We're gonna have a live DJ. What else are we gonna have, babe? A couple hors d'oeuvres and just a lot of fun. It's gonna be a party after afterwards, because then it's just gonna be like, yo, it's my birthday. See, I'm over here playing, and she's serious. She getting it done. This is what babes do. This is how my wife keeps me on track right here. We decided to uh, try some of these um, hors d'oeuvres out <laughs> since we'll be eating them at the event in a little less than a month from now. So we have these are, what are these? The chicken wings? And then we have smoked chicken wings. Then we have uh, cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. And then we have shrimp and grits here. Yeah. So, time to dig in. We are walking into Octane just to get a little nightcap. Probably, I'll probably get some tea. They probably have a coffee, coffee right. and maybe get a little bakery item. But, what is the good uh, baked items that they have here? Is Right here. It's like an almond butter cake type thing. Mm, it's so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Definitely not something you could eat every night, but. This is my chamomile tea. Goodness, right there. With my piece of cake and my piece of honk. <laughs> All right, we're about to call it a night. Go to bed. He was just uh, finished playing with his toy. He hasn't played with that toy in a long time. It's a squeaky toy. Is that your toy? Is that your toy? <laughs> <laughs> we love you all so much. As always, good night. Thanks for watching, lovies. Remember to like and share. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome. Leave a comment below and subscribe. Love you guys. Mwah. Night, baby. Good night. He's not dressed. Good night. See you next weekend. I'm show my love handles. Good night. I'm show the lovies my love handles. <laughs> <laughs>